Dexter Lake has been said to be a gem of a location for rowing competitions, and dozens of college rowers came from around the western U.S. to get a look for themselves. The athletes are competing in the opening weekend of the 2024 Covered Bridge Regatta. KEZI 9 News reporter Noah Chavez spoke with rowers about why this is the highlight of their schedule. Costing as much as a car, but only weighing less than a fridge, multiple eight-man crews launched their racing boats in the Dexter Lake. With feet certainly freezing and nerves raging, they all make their way to the start line and soon take off, starting the first race of a multi-heat, multi-weekend regatta. This is the Collegiate Covered Bridge Regatta. It's a part of a, this is the first of a two-part weekend. We have, um, Basically, intercollegiate teams uh, racing. Some are clubs. Some are, uh, you know, varsity teams uh, coming from all over. And from all over, they came. You had the usual suspects, the Ducks and the Beavers, but you also had UC Berkeley, UNLV, and even Washington State, just to name a few. It's different scenery, yeah. um, more of a challenge. It's also to prepare us for our regionals. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to get um, everybody a chance to experience a race so that we know what to expect for regionals. Uh, just representing crew, representing Cougar crew, and Washington State um, is cool. It's going to be awesome. For over 20 years, the Covered Bridge Regatta has been a highlight for professional and collegiate teams who want perfect water conditions they couldn't get elsewhere. This is a regatta that our team looks forward to every year. Uh, we train for it starting September, uh, the beginning of fall, all the way up until now. We're really excited to be rowing here. This all of the teams participating shared in a mutual respect for the Dexter Lake course and for good reason. Organizers say conditions at the lake are usually calm with little to any crosswinds, which often impact other race locations. Dexter Lake is becoming really known as one of our one of the top rowing venues in this country, if not in the world. We have a their uh, fully buoyed eight lane race course, which is rare on the West Coast. But no matter how great the conditions are, the sport of rowing is not made any easier for the crews, needing the utmost mental and physical toughness. Once you're out there and you're like in so much pain, it's yeah. a mind game mm -hmm. yeah. and you're just fighting, you know, your own thoughts, mm -hmm. wanting to give up, but you've got it. A, it's a 2K race. It's, it's never easy. It's one of the, in my opinion, one of the toughest events probably in any athletic event. Um, I think we finished strong and we got a couple more races coming up this afternoon. So I'm just going to try and rest up, eat some food. The mental aspect is definitely um, a very big part of uh, rowing at the collegiate level. Once you get up to that college level, though, your uh, training volume basically triples. But more so than anything, the guys that make it the most are the guys that really want to be there and the guys that are really tough. The men and women participating are always eager to hop back into the water. So everyone's excited, you know, first time getting raised a bunch of other schools. So there's definitely excitement in the water. Of course, always a little nervous. I mean, if you're not nervous, you don't care. So, um, I mean, nervous, nervousness gets you prepared for the day, I guess. So we're gonna be uh, racing our eights. Um, I'm in the 2V. So uh, for, for us, we're gonna be racing uh, two races. It's just a never-ending cycle of always learning something new on the water, and it's just a great experience overall. And with many visiting Oregon for the first time, they are still getting used to the Oregon hospitality. It's also so nice. Oh, they they're are. nice yes, to lend us boats. Everybody are, is so orders. kind and helpful. Yeah. Yeah. We're so yeah. thankful. I think yeah. you, can't, you can't stuff a boat in, in a boat. No, yeah. 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 <laughs> The athletes say the challenge of competing and memories made and shared with each other keeps them coming back to the water. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. Go Beefs. One, two, three. Ducks. Four, five, six. Family. One, two, three. Rebels. Reporting at Dexter Lake, Noah Chavez, KZI, Nine News. Noah, fantastic job as always. Thank you very much.